Hey what's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you the multiplayer classes available in Mass Effect Andromeda and I'm going to start on the top left corner with the human female soldier as you can see, a lot of health, not too many shields but just enough uh, the skills are turbocharge which is just um, uh, shooting a lot faster concussive shot is firing one blast which knocks down an enemy and frag grenade which is obviously a grenade uh, next to it is the human male soldier you can see the health stats and the shields are the same as well as the skills so yeah they are both the same and um, the human classes always have that they have a female and a male ver variant but they are the same so next to it is the human female vanguard which as you can see has the same amount of health same amount of shields but different skills as you can see it's charge which uh, as it says charge you into the enemy nova which makes a blast around you um, dealing damage to your enemies um, and shockwave and as you can see from the purple these are biotic powers so they're good against organics we've also got the male vanguard as well then we have here the human male adept which is a bit the same as the Asari adept which I was playing but then the human version of course um, and as you can see still same health still same amount of shields different skills though singularity what it does is if you activate singularity it will create um, a little field around you dealing damage over time to your enemies um, we've got pull which pulls an enemy towards you um, and out of cover and shockwave which is a generates a shockwave of course which can go through cover and uh, continues to go um, pushing the enemies uh, over we've also got the female variant, uh, variant of this of course then we've got the human male engineer as you can see still the same amount of health and shields but again different skills the cryo beam as it says it's like a frost beam it's like it freezes enemy of and makes them slower we've got the assault tur uh, turret uh, which is a little turret you can place on the battlefield which will uh, assist you in battle of course by shooting at everything that lives um, and we've got overload which destroys enemy shields very very useful against um, robot e robotic enemies and as you can see the skills are tech based for they are um, orange we've also got the female variant of this then we've got the human female sentinel which um, still has the same amount of health and shields but as you can see this has skills from both the attacking normal soldier class um, the biotic powers as well as technical powers the energy drain as it says steals the shield from an enemy and gives it to you barricade creates a little um, form of cover which will can, um, a bit like the robotic enemies could do um, in one of the survival videos that I showed one of the multiplayer videos and throw again is the same power as I said earlier then we've got the human male sentinel of course which has exactly the same then we've got the female, human female infiltrator with the same amount of health and shields um, the attack skills are incinerate which is the same as cryo beam except this time there are flames which sets your uh, enemies on fire oh no no sorry that's the flame type of skill sorry incinerate is like concussive shot it fires like a firebolt um, at enemies then you've got tactical cloak which makes you invisible temporarily so you can hide from your enemies to recover your health or to be able to walk around them to flank them and we've got sticky grenade which obviously sticks to the enemy or to the surface you plant it on when it, just before it detonates and we've got the male class for that as well these are by the way the classes you all get standardly you, you can make them stronger by getting them in the backs again because that um, gives them higher stats higher m more health and more shields of course um, and by leveling them you increase certain stats as well but let's go to the next one which is the Asari Sentinel as you can see the skills are Backlash um, which is like smacking your enemy um, we've got Throw again and we've got Energy Drain then we've got the Krogan Engineer and as you can see the Krogans have more health they've got 600 health instead of 500 um, standardly and their skills are more attack based as you can see overload again damaging the shield assault turret 
a little turret that helps you by shooting the enemy and incinerate the f um, shooting a fire bullet. And we've got the Krogan Vanguard, as you can see, still a lot more health, but a little less shields than the normal. Instead of uh, 250 shields, they've got 180. Um, and they've got biotic powers as well as the attacking powers. Like 45, um, the power in the middle, the red one, um, gives them more armor temporarily and makes them invulnerable. Nova, I've explained, smashes the, um, biotic powers around you so it damages nearby enemies and charge allows you to charge into an animal. Then we've got the Turian Soldier. As you can see, the health is normal 500, but it's got a little more shields. It's got 275 shield. So it's a little better in that perspective. It's still got Fortify, just like the program just had. It's got Turbo Charge and it's got Frag Grenade, which are all skills I've explained. Then we've got the Salarian Infiltrator. A little less health, as you can see. Only 425. Um, still a lot more shields than normal. 270. They've got Sticky Grenade as a skill, Tactical Cloak and Energy Drain. Um, this is the main class you've all been seeing in my videos. The Asari Adapt, because I got that one in one of the packs of course. Um, and as you can see it has 475 health and 250 shield, so a little less health than normal than the humans. Um, and its skills are Throw, Annihilation and Lance. And Lance is a bit like the Firebolt and the Concussive Shot than the biotic power version of it. Then we've got the Krogan Mercenary, which has 700 health, even more than the other Krogan, which had 600. So yeah, this is like a real beast. Um, it's got 250 shields, so normal amount of shields. Um, its skills are based on close range, like Flamethrower. It does what it says, it's a Flamethrower. Fortify, giving it more armor again, and the Flag Cannon, shooting a sword. Um, short range artillery, something like that. So it's shooting cluster bombs. Then we've got the Turian Havoc Trooper with 500 health and a lot of shields, a whopping 350. Um, and with the skills Incinerate, which is the, the bolt again, the fire bolt, turbo charge, and flat cannon again. As you can see, the further, further we go down, the rarer the classes will be. So it, it will be harder to get these, of course. Um, and we are now at the Angara Avenger which has 500 health, 350 shield, so a lot more than normal, a sticky grenade, stealth grid, which I believe is the same as tactical cloak, except um, it's like an area of effect around you, so teammates close to you will become invisible as well, but well, I'm not sh uh, entirely sure about that one. And, we and we've got the Avenger Strike, um, which is just, I think, uh, the charge ability from the biotic powers, but then the physical version of it. Up next is the Asari Duelist, which as you can see has 500 health and a lot more shields, like 300 shields they have, so that's very very nice. They've got the charge ability, the backlash ability and the launch ability, so yeah. Up next is the Agara Insurgent, with a 550 health, which is a little more than standard, um, and 250 shields. And they've got an even upgrade, they've got the attack skill, skill uh, shield boost, which gives them uh, more, even more shield temporarily of course. They've got the assault turret, and they've got a trip mine, which is um, a mine you can place on the ground. And if an enemy walks over it, it will uh, explode of course. Up next is the Asari Huntress, which has 550 health, a little more than normal, 250 shields, so that's normal. The throw ability, the stealth grid again and the Lance uh, Biotic Power. Up next is the Solarian Operator, which has 425 health, which is a little less, but it has 270 shields to cover for it, as well as the Invasion skill, which is um, a skill which I believe damages the opponent even though it has a shield. It's quite a lot of damage, I believe. You've got the Overload skill damaging their shields, of course, and Shield Boost giving them uh, bigger shields, of course, temporarily. And last but not least, the Human Kinetics character, which has 425 health, 270 shields, and has the skills Pull, Throw, and Launch. Um, yeah, all powers that I've explained already. And by the way, don't worry too much about the colors of the armor, but you can change because you can change the colors of the armor if you want to, to pretty much every, any color you want. So yeah, these were all the classes, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, make sure to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.